Today's Friday form tip is gonna be catfish. Your hands wrap around the high bar. Your shoulders should be a few inches behind those wrists. From here, you don't wanna drop your hips low or pop your hips up high. We don't want that. Also, people shifting their weight all the way forward here, keeping their legs straight, and doing something like this, okay? This is not your catfish, okay? We don't wanna see that. The next thing we see, heels drop, okay? This becomes a nice calf stretch, but it's not gonna do the movement like we want it. So make sure the heels stay lifted. You don't have to send the carriage out really far in this movement because then when you're going like this, the hips are dropping and it's defeating the purpose. So don't do that, okay? We just want that carriage to go out a few inches as far as you can with your personal range of motion to then pull those knees back under the hips, keeping constant tension in your core. Making sure that back stays nice and flat, nice neutral spine the whole time. And then the other thing to pay attention to is making sure the carriage doesn't come all the way in and touches the platform, losing the tension on the core and in the springs. So here is what the catfish should look like. Chin off the chest, shoulders behind the wrist a few inches, and that carriage is going out and in with the knees squeezing together, knees slightly bent, heels lifted, and the back is staying flat because the hips are not moving at all. So try it out.